All right, man, let's talk. I got a uh, got a call yesterday, man. So I want to talk about uh, something real quick. So let's talk about Earl and Spence and throw Canelo in there. Now it came of uh, news yesterday that, you know, uh, Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford name came up in the Canelo sweepstakes. All right. Um, yeah, it came up that he possibly could be an opponent for Canelo Alvarez. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you why. Now, apparently, Al Heyman is going to Amazon Prime. All right. Now, uh, you know, that's the rumor. Um, so, and right now, it's being reported that Amazon is only, is only going to be a distribution deal. Okay. It's pretty much, they're just going to distribute the pay-per-view. And they're going to have a marketing budget to market the, the fights and all that type of stuff. But it's being rumored that Al Heyman is going to front the bill. Okay. It's being rumored that Al Heyman is going to front the bill. I said it again, it's being rumored that Al Heyman is going to front the bill. Now you say, well, what did that mean? That mean he's going to be paying for these fights out of his pocket. Now I'm trying to find out where I will try to find out, you know, is this stuff going to be on uh, just exclusively on pay-per-view? Are they going to have a regular Showtime like type fights, regular Amazon type fights? So that's what I'm trying to figure out now. Is some of this stuff going to be, they're going to have a regular card or all this just going pay per view? Now, I've been saying for a while that it seems like boxing is headed just to a paper pay per view format. That's what it seemed like. They just going to a pay per view format where you're going to pay per fight, you know? And it's so many different questions about that because that I have is like, okay, if you're going to do a pay-per-view type of format, you know, how are you going to feed all the rest of the fighters? Are the cards going to be stacked? I figured if Al Heyman is paying out his pocket, then, you know, the cards going to be, the cards, you know, probably not going to be as stacked. Even if it's just one-sided fights with names on there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't think the cards is going to be as stacked. You know, so he paying for all this stuff out of his pocket, then, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, Rick Legs was saying a lot of these guys money going to fall and it's going to reset the boxing pay scale. You know, and if that's the case, that's the case, you got to, you know, but then again, a lot of these guys got minimums in their contracts. So they got minimums. So how do that work? You know, is he going to allow these guys to, to go sign elsewhere? Because if they do, he's still their manager unless he signed a contract off. He's still going to get a percentage. Is he going to start working with other promoters? Um, is he going to start working with other promoters to, you know, to utilize their fight dates so they can, you know, you know, keep these dudes working? Like I said, it's a rumor out there that, you know, he's shelving Stephen Fulton. He's shelving Stephen Fulton because Stephen Fulton took the New UA fight um, against his will. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a rumor. That he's shelving him against his will. I mean, he's shelving him because he took the Now You and New UA fight against his will. And he promised him that he was going to make, you know, keep him active and all that stuff, but it wasn't going to. They said, you know, over there somewhere, they said this. He, he made over $4 million. He made about $4 million. They said he made over $4 million. So even if he fought three or four times, you know, this calendar year, which that probably wasn't going to be possible, he wasn't going to make no $4 million. He wasn't going to make no $4 million. For real. You know, he wasn't going to make no uh, no four million dollars. You know. So, you know, that's just the little games that he play. But, you know, nonetheless, uh, Word on the street is that Al Heyman owe Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford uh, $50 million, and he don't have the money to put up for the fight. This is why he was trying to convince Errol Spence not to take the fight, 
but when Earl Spence had to go, uh, when Earl Spence had to go sign more management, you know what I'm saying? You know, that lets you know he kind of was an Al Heyman doghouse. So, you know, when Al Heyman didn't, you know, do what he told him to do to go make that Crawford fight and try to deter him to, you know, going towards Keith Thurman and building towards Canelo, then they start beefing. You know, anytime you don't do what Al say, what Al want to do, then these guys, they start beefing. They start beefing. So, you know, so right now, he don't have the 50 to get it. Him. It's 30 to Bud, and it's 20 to Errol Spence. So, Showtime wasn't interested in, in picking that back up neither. So now what they're doing to negate that is trying to put Terrence Crawford name in the running for Canelo Alvarez. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to put Terrence Crawford name in the running for Canelo Alvarez. So now that's the play. That way, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with Earl Spence, whatever, but right now he, they putting his name in that mix. And Crawford and them really hoping they're going to get that fight. You know, they really hoping they're going to get that fight. You know, so. Um, but, yeah, that, that's why you hear Terrence Crawford name in the mix for. Uh, that's why you hear Terrence Crawford name in the mix for for that fight. Because they don't have enough money. They don't have enough money to. Uh, they don't have enough money to, to for the Crawford and Spence because it's coming out of Al Heyman pocket. You know, y'all the one that drafted up that contract. Y'all the one that drew up that contract. Y'all knew Spence wasn't going to win that fight. You know Spence was going to win his rematch. So now Al Heyman strapped for cash, you know, and he a creative uh, son of a gun. He'll figure something out. But right now, but I can tell you this, it's told for me over at PBC, and I did a video about this the other day. It's told for me that Jamal Trollo was going to get that fight. You know, and it's been told that once that Showtime deal up with Canelo and PBC deal up with Canelo, he going back to the zone and then he might fight Monkey or so. If he already going to think about going back to the zone, I don't think he going to fight David Benavidez next. That's just my humble opinion on that. I don't think he going to fight David Benavidez next. You know? I don't think so. But, you know, that's just my that's just my assumption. That's just my assumption. You know, no insider information, nothing. It's just me assuming. I don't think he's going to fight David Benavidez next. But right now, Al Heyman just don't have the bag. As simple as that. Al Heyman just don't possess the money right now. He couldn't get nobody to put up money. I mean, think about it. He he fucked over Fox. And at the end of Fox, this is how it was formatted. This is why you seen Ortiz and, and old boy go on pay-per-view. And Ruiz and Charles Martin Ortiz go on pay-per-view. That's why. That's why, because um, he was paying for it out of pocket. He was paying 10% to production of Fox. Shout out to Marcos Villegas for breaking that news. So he was paying out his pocket for them Fox cars and paying Fox 10%, whatever that, you know, what that was coming out of for production. You know, he's paying for that for production. So, you know, that is what it is. You know, but, you know, uh, well, yeah, he ain't got the money right now. He simply don't have the money. So, that's a lot of money you throw $50 million up and lose and, and people saying that, you know, that they don't want to see the rematch. You know, and that's on Errol Spence for not doing what he's supposed to do in the rematch. 
That's his fault. That's his fault. You know, that's his fault. But it is what it is. He put the money up, you know. You know, you draw these contracts up, you owe these fighters. You owe these fighters. You owe them. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. So, yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comments section. Check out the box from the playlist for more videos like this. Um, don't forget, check out my main channel, um, uh, Free Game, on my new channel, Free Game 89, FR33 Game 89. In addition to that, check out my Detroit channel, Marcy Sports Talk. All that's in the link tree in the description. Peace.